hey everyone welcome back to the channel this is Rahul today we are solving another exciting program from read code that is construct the execute graphically largest credit sequence actually in this it is a backtracking problem that's often as in coding interviews so in this video we will discuss about the problem statement the approach we are using and example from this question only we will demonstrate that then write one java solution for that one later discuss about the complexity analysis and everything so let's get into it so here is our problem we have one integer n so we have to construct a sequence that follows three conditions as shown here <clears throat> the integer one must appear only once if every number from 2 to n must appear twice for any number i the distance between the two occurs occurrence of i must be exactly i and last one the sequence must be lexicographically largest possible so if you see this example for n equal to 3 we have 3 1 2 3 2 so uh, you may think how it is so I will just show you take n is equal to 3 so for that only we have to uh, know what's the size of that one so we will use two star three minus one which it gives five so that's why we are getting the size five here then what we are doing is we will start with index zero so in this the largest number is 3 so our first number will be 3 here then uh, our third number will also 3 because already mentioned we can place any number greater than 1 means from 2 to n it can appear two times so 3 okay this is the way we can place 3 next we can we have to place 1 because it can only be placed at an empty position and it can only be placed once so 3 1 so this is the way first one second one three one we can place two now so we got it like that we can do for another one that is um, we can use 2 at first 2 2 score underscore ok now I can use the next value 2 3 2 underscore 3 at last 2 sorry two three two underscore 3 2 3 
2 1 3 so these both are lexicographically it's right but at the same time this one make me is okay these both are lexicographically valid sequences but at the same time this one is higher so we are using this as the output that's why we in this example we are getting it one as output so here we will use backtracking in order to solve this means first of all we will start from the largest number and trying to place it in the sequence for numbers greater than 1 we have to place them at two positions with their distance equal to their value second if a number can't be placed we backtrack by removing it by it and trying a different position and later we have to ensure that the sequence is valid and uh, lexicographically largest so i hope you understand the example also now let's start our coding part in this one we have to get help from another helper function we will write it so first of all we have to create the sequence array of size of 2 star n minus 1 i already showed you so for that i will use the variable result array now i need to track which numbers have been placed so for that i will use one boolean with the variable name used new boolean and plus 1 now i need to start backtracking for from index 0 backtrack result used and 0 then later we have to return the result okay so once this done we have to start our uh, helper function so private boolean backtrack in the result boolean used in then index sorry okay first of all we have to skip the filled positions so while index less than Result dot length and uh, result of index not equal to zero. Nothing. Just increment the index. Now we have to. Uh, check if sequence is fully constructed. If it is constructed, then nothing. Just write down true. It's a base case.
Now we have to try placing numbers from n down to 1. That uh, we have to go through every element. For that, I will use one for loop starting with n is equal to n i greater than equal to 1. Then decrement i since we are going downwards. First of all, we have to skip numbers that are already placed. So if used of i, then nothing. Just use the keyword continue in order to skip it. Now we have to check for the special case for number one. If i is 1 then we have to place 1 at the current index so result of index is equal to 1 then we have to mark 1 as used because we don't have to use it again right Same time we have to uh, continue backtracking. If backtrack result used and index plus one and nothing just wrote down true so once this done we have to backtrack by removing one so result of index is zero then we will mark used the one of false come out of the if loop now we have to go for the else condition where um, the numbers after this which are greater than one so first of all we have to check if both both positions are empty if index plus i less than result log dot length and uh, result of index plus i is equal to 0 then we have to uh, place the number at the current current index result index is equal to i and uh, we have to place the second occurrence at uh, index plus i is equal to i now we have to mark the number that we currently used as used one means we have to set it as true Now we have to again continue our backtracking as we already done here. If 
backtrack result index oh sorry used n index plus one nothing just return true uh, once this done we have to backtrack by removing the number that we currently used result of index is equal to zero then of index plus i also marked as zero now we have to set used to do false for i so once this done we done our backtracking now we can come out of these loops and return false if there is no valid placement found return false okay just run it it's working so i will just explain the code once again so you will understand it first of all uh, as the base case just we will start here if the base case means if index reach the end of the array then nothing else we have to do just means we already successfully created the sequence so we have return true once we have done this we will try placing numbers from n down to 1 ensure the sequence is lexicographically largest then placing number 1 here is it so here for numbers greater than one we place them at uh, two indices with a gap equal to the number itself means if either position is occupied we skip that number then backtracking if uh, placing a number doesn't lead to a valid sequence we have to backtrack again by removing the number and uh, trying a different position so that's the thing i done in this one so when it comes to complexity uh, in time complexity it is big of n factorial because we explore all possible placements using backtracking it's the worst case and uh, space complexity is big of n due to recursion stack and the arrays used to store the sequence and track used numbers so let's submit it See, it's the most efficient one so that's it for today's video we solved the construct the lexicographically largest valid sequence problem using backtracking if this video helped you don't forget to like share and subscribe for more coding and see you next one till that happy coding